Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to get started on the Mezco Toys Death Dealer. I know everybody's waited a long while for this, so uh, let's have some fun. Let's get started. Let's get to it. Everyone knows I love sword and sorcery, so I'm going to try to contain my excitement, the same, the same excitement that I tried to contain for Conan, but uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to because sword and sorcery is very fun for me. I get to get really creative with it. Uh, so I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy. So with the Death Dealer, just like Conan, we have cloth style, but in a minimalistic way, in my opinion. But there are a lot of changes that I saw from the Death Dealer of previews to now. One of those things being is going to be the uh, the double joints. We know that it was seen with single joints beginning, but let's address the double joints. So right out the gate, we have a bicep swivel, and we have a double jointed arm looks utterly fantastic it looks bulky it looks beautiful uh and it really does work for me I, i'm really sitting here enjoying that like i don't see I, I i just i love it uh there's no bicep swivel i mean i said wow there's no butterfly joint excuse me there is indeed bicep swivel i just used that but there is no butterfly joint but we can lift our arm up to hit a t-pose which for me is very important uh and with sword and sorcery not having a butterfly joint it's a little bit of a bummer, but it doesn't take away from how cool it is. I do like the fact that our torso is very nice. You can get left, you can get right, right? We have an ab crunch, which I didn't expect there to be. And the reason why that is, is because uh, when you pop our head off, we actually have the capsule top, like with Cyclops and Dr. Fate, and we have an LED here. But it's shortened to the point where we actually can have a decent ab crunch on our figure, which for me changes everything. It notes that there is improvement here with the line and, uh, and they're taken from people's uh, advice or at least trying to learn from themselves, which is very important. But yes, so we do have a much better ab crunch and we can tilt side to side. So that minimal movement is now much better in this figure. So when we get to poses, which I'll, I'll clearly get to, everyone knows it's one of my favorite parts. We can see that that actually has changed significantly. Now. I'm going to turn on the LED, which is very strong. And we're going to pop the Death Dealer head on now. And you can see our LED work its magic, looking very, very nice there. And I'm gonna take it off so we can pop it into the body so you can see what it's like with the body. I'm not gonna short you guys on that. So look at that. Yes, 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 yes. That is beautiful. Now. If you want to get a nice pose, I'm going to get at least one nice pose for you guys. Let's do a nice walking stance. Because the one thing we miss out on with Death Dealer is going to be the ability to look up and down. But we can still look left and right and tilt a little bit. So as you can see here, the LED moves with it. Keeping a bunch of that nice lighting in there. Which is utterly fantastic. But if you want that head to look up, you're going to tilt that torso. Which is why it's really nice to get that extra bit of articulation there in there look at this so we have a nice bit of articulation i really like how this came out it's very simple and very clean and if you enjoyed codan you are very much going to enjoy the nice upgrades that you get with def dealer with that being said i'm going to take the led out well not out sorry i'm going to take it turn it off wrong choice of words and what we are going to do is we're going to talk about the lower torso now as you can see, we have our chainmail here, looking utterly beautiful. I like how it wraps around underneath the belt. And if we lift up our skirt, we will find that the skirt is actually wired. So the lining will be here in front, so you can have a nice free flow outside of that chainmail. It's even wired here on the sides and the front. And you can see that lower body there, just like with Conan. We have beautiful leg articulation. We have a thigh swivel as well. We are double jointed. Uh, what is it called? The, the no pins, no pins, the seamless. <laughs> Everybody just gets mad when I use the word seamless. It's not, I know that it's not pinless, but it also looks seamless. We do have a little bit of ankle pivot and this is where we lose out on a bit because we don't have a super good ankle pivot, but I think it's enough that the figure itself survives very well and can still pose. We actually can lift our arm up over the armor as well, just in case you were wondering, because I may have missed that in my excitement. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here, Def Dealer poses pretty well, just as well as Conan. 
And like I said, we may not have the super good angle pivot, but it is enough to get the figure into many great poses. So, with all that being said though, we do want to start talking about some of our accessories that we are going to get with our Death Dealer. Oh, by the way, fully rounded uh, pegs in our hands, in case you have not noticed that. Right? Without further ado, let's jump into accessories. I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, now we're going to jump into part one of the accessories. So, let's get started. Let's have some fun. First thing, <clears throat> we do get some really nice pins. So I wanna talk about that. This comes inside the box. There is a poster as well. I'm going to take a picture of it. So I'll get to that at the very, very end. So we actually have a really nice pin set with Frazetta Art over here in the corner. Thank you for that, right? Then, ooh, so first things first, let's talk about our alternative sculpt here for the helmet. This looks really nice. We have an alternate look. We have a uh, more bone colored, uh, well, I wouldn't say bone colored, but marrow bone <laughs> color. Uh, we have a different faceplate, differing that of the one you'll see back here, right? And just like with this one, it works with the LEDs inside. Let's pop this off. And you can see that it works the same. Having a beautiful, nice lit look. Fantastic. I'm going to take this out, leave it out for a second. Because the next thing I want to talk about is going to be our necklace. So you will get a necklace set. You can apply this on by just, you know, popping off the head and then popping this on, leaving it right on top over the collar. It, just, it hangs there very well, but the more you mess with it, the more it will lean into the body. Mine's actually, as you can see here, it's going to spring up. But then the more you leave it on the body, the easier it will be to lay down. It's going to get a little stuck there, right? Then you will have a blood splattered head. This actually looks really, really nice. You can sit this down on the floor, make it look like a severed head sitting in a pool of blood. It's a very nice accessory. Then you will have Death Dealer's Axe. It has nice blood fleck right on the end, painted on. You also get this with two blood effects. So the two blood effects are really nice because you can add this chopping effect, like the bladder, ugh, the splatter effect at the end of the axe as if it's attacking into someone's anybody part for that matter. So this looks utterly fantastic with the axe. And then there's more of a movement splatter, which is placed at the top of the axe. Looking really, really good. Uh, let's say you want to change it around. You can actually do it towards the bottom, right? And this is where it gets a little tricky, but you can maneuver it to sit a little lower if you balance it right. The only reason why I say this in case you want a slightly different type of movement. So there's that for you, right? Also, you will get a long sword. The same effects applies towards the sword, right? You can put it at the end, but with the sword, it does not look as good. But still works, still works. And this one works really nicely for the blood splatter effect on the sword. Wanted to make sure I showed that off. Then we will actually have a severed head. The severed head of a goblin, which I hope we, we like really get some goblins, some other Frazetta stuff, or Orc Man. There is a piece here for the gripping hand. You are going to use the item holding hand of the right hand, not the left. The instructions will tell you otherwise, but it's actually the right hand. It holds that severed head really nicely, really snug in there. And speaking of hands, item holding hands, you will get a left and a right one. You know I use that right one just now for the severed head. We will actually get some open, semi-open, relaxed hands, right? And then you'll get these open action gripping hands, you know, using them for whatever it is you want to use them for. Then you have Death Dealer Shield. I love this. The handles on either side, so you can use uni, unisex for ambidextrous people, left or right, right? You will also get a scabbard with a short knife, 
short range combat and this can actually be plugged into here on the back if you want so you can actually plug it into the back there's a plug for it you can hold that back there as well then you have there's a lot of stuff and I love this there's so much stuff that I may need to take like a small break because this is a lot but um actually I'm just gonna break it up very quickly so I don't run out of breath because I'm actually a little excited so I'll see you guys in like half a second continuing on with our accessories ah uh, let's take our necklace off right and let's talk about our beautiful cloak that we get cloak fits right over the top and right on there let's pop our head back on and our cloak is also wired it fits over the shoulder so you have a cloak as well I like that classic knitting style as well too so you have a beautiful cloak and it's big and heavy too so again lots of nice features for this this really like settles it out to be nicely even at the end I think it's a little weathered yep war torn and weathered so that's really nice and then couple more things as we go over the accessories so I hate I, I'm waiting for my second one to arrive but we're gonna talk about the fact that you do get an alternate look technically for your death deal excuse me so along with that helmet you'll actually get an extra belt skull and crossbones on it you can actually just lift your arms up remove the tab I'm only gonna replace the belt and not the shoulder armor and the reason why that is because I want to keep the look for when I take pictures. I want to go in a particular order. <laughs> so we actually wrap this around. This way you can alternate your looks for your death dealer, right? So let me see if I can find this tab here on camera. This is the problem. I don't like being on camera doing this because I, I'm looking into the camera and it's not working for me. So I have to look at the figure, therefore not knowing if it's focusing or not which is always a wild ride for me because I can't multitask that. But as you can see here, you have an alternate look with your belt. See, I wasn't focused and I hate that. <laughs> so there you have it looking really, really nice. Then there's also a new armored plate. This one sits a little bit lower, but it has different shoulder guards. And it sits thinner on top than this armor, which you will see in photos later. I promise. I very much promise. And this releases a tab from the bottom left tab to go in and around. But the reason why I didn't want to swap is because when you swap off belts, right? One of the things I want to talk about here is that this belt doesn't have the tab piece for you to attach your knife at the end. While this one does. But even with attaching this one thing you can do for putting your sword on the back is because let's say you want to fully equip your death dealer let's actually keep this around what you are going to do is you will actually get the the s chains just like with conan you're going to get four of these and a chain so to do this what you do is you take one end of the chain we loop it through one of the big hoops. Again, I'm not paying attention, so hopefully this is focusing. Um, and you are placing it in the back to hook into the belt. And the belt is really secure because getting it that S hook in is actually sometimes a pain. I usually squeeze the side to poke a piece out. See how that chain is hanging? Then you will take an alternate S curl. All right? You're going to do the same thing on the other side. make sure it's hooked in there properly come towards the middle and then slide over if you have to so that is my suggestion because it happens to me literally all the time I practice with this a few times off camera and it still gets me but once your S hook is actually in there you are set as you can see I'm having trouble with the other side but I will get it and the reason why I do this is because if I show you how to do it It'll help you as you practice along as well. Right? So there we go. We're going to hook over and slide over. All right? 
And now that our S hooks are in, we take our sheath, right? And we're gonna take, oh, sorry, I need one more S link. Oh, it's chain, sorry. For this side with our sword, we're gonna take it, hook it in, hook the other side into the bottom of the sword. And then hook the other piece here. And I may have used the wrong S chains, but uh, I think you guys get oh, you get what I'm getting at. All right there we go. And as you can see, I've definitely done this wrong, but you know exactly what I meant here because I used the wrong S chains. But it's supposed to be more like this across. So I've clearly made a mistake here. I have to pick out the right S chains. All that practice was for nothing. <laughs> but yes, you can do it that way. It's actually easy once you get the hang of it and know which ones you're using. So I'm going to take these out. And that is for our chain on the back, right? And I think that about covers pretty much all of our accessories. With that being said, because I love sword and sorcery, what we're going to do is I'm going to put Def Dealer back together, pop his head back in. And we're going to do a size comparison. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, guys, now comes the size comparison. And no, I didn't forget about putting them on a horse. I'm saving that for last. Kind of like a bonus round. So first things first, let's compare him to the Mezco Conan. So as you can see here, Conan is a tad bit smaller than our main man, Def Dealer. Not one of those things where he's like supremely bigger or something. But you can see the arms are more buff on Def Dealer. A little bit more height. Uh... I like the little minor changes that really made him stand out. So I do enjoy that very much. Now we can compare it to some other sword and sorcery stuff. So I think we'll do a mythic legions and a combatant fight for glory. So I'm gonna move it back. And here we are with a mythic legions 1.0 body. And like I said, this is where it gets really fun for me because I get to like push stuff to the limit. So here we are with a combatant fight for glory. There we are with the mythic legion. We have two mezcos here. And honestly, even with them being smaller than these other scales, hey, with savagery, it doesn't even matter. So I'm okay with it. Um, let's take these three guys away. Let's compare to some other stuff. Ooh, here we are with a Masterverse Mattel, uh, King Grayskull. I don't have too many of these guys left, but I kept King Grayskull. I really like how he came out with the, the dual wielding Swords of Eternia. So here we are with Mattel's uh, <clears throat> King Grayskull. Here we are with Mythic Legion's Goblin, in case you want to see something smaller. So we have some gobbles, right? Gobbles! Then we can do a, oh, a female combatant fight for glory. These are also bigger as well. Then in case you want to have some crazy creative fun, here we are with a NECA Predator, the Warrior. And then we can do a Mythic Legion's Half Giant Builder. As you can see, these guys are gigantic. They don't fit technically within the framing of the, the thing. But that's, again, where you get to get creative and have some fun. Now, when you compare it to other lines, though, this is where it gets a little different. So now we have stuff like the Valiverse rollout. Then you have the Mezco Me on a Gomez body. All right. Then you have Evil Sensei Itami. And then you'll have, oh, why not? He's right here. Captain America's a little bit bigger than most normal legends. But you can see what he's like. Then last but not least, we can do my main man, SHF Kamen Kuga. So you can see just how tiny Kuga is compared to Death Dealer. Right? And now for the bonus round. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to use the Headless Horseman's horse from Mythic Legions. I think that fits best in this situation. So what I'm going to do is gonna sit back whoop, and adjust up. There we go. Maybe a little bit higher, right? See how your boy looks. I'm gonna turn it around. Prefer the left hand side. I don't know what it is about me in the left hand side. We're going to position ourselves to ride the horse. Is there another word besides ride that we can use? I don't know. I feel like we can mount. There it is, the word mount. I don't know why I always forget words when I get on screen. Mount. So as you can see here, 
Personally, I think Def Dilla looks a little small, but I think it really does work with the Mythic Legion's horse. I feel like right here it looks really, really nice though. This could definitely work in your favor. I would definitely use the Headless Horseman's horse. I like the way this looks. So, I think we've summed up everything that I can possibly do with Sword and Sorcery. So when you watch somebody else's review, hopefully they could cover something that I can't, which is dope because not everybody gets the views and I appreciate stuff like that. So with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for enjoying my work for real. Thank you for the likes, the subs, subscribes, the shares, all that good jaws. Uh, it means a lot because we're trying to get that growth, but we want it organically. And uh, this is about as organic as I can get for you guys. So as always, a very big thank you to you all. And as always, please be good, do good. Drink your water, guys. Later.